Hi, I'm Steve. You can call me Steve. So, time. They say time is the fire in which we burn. No, wait, that's a movie. And fire was last year's challenge. So, anyway, time is a dimension. Well, that's useful. What's a dimension? So I presume most of you are watching this in the classroom. You in the back, stop picking your nose. And the rest of you stop laughing, it just encourages it. So your classroom has three dimensions. It has a length, from the blackboard all the way to the back of the room. It has a width, from side to side. And it has a height, from the floor to the ceiling. Now, you can move in any of those dimensions. You, you can walk from the front to the back, from side to side, or you can climb the walls to the ceiling. Kids, don't climb the walls. Well, time is also a dimension. It's a bit different because you cannot choose in which direction you move in it. You are always moving towards the future. In addition, in the classroom dimensions, you can go where you want, when you want, at however fast you want. Kids don't run the classroom. With the time dimension, you do not get a choice in any of this. You are moving towards the future at one second per second, and there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. If you leave something in the past, you cannot go back and get it. I'm sorry. Anyway, if you take the three classroom dimensions and combine it with the time dimension, you basically get our entire universe. We call this space-time, because the three classroom dimensions, length, width, and height, make up space, and the time dimension makes up time, obviously. Now we can describe the position of any object in space-time with a set of four coordinates. You may have heard this term before, especially if you watch Star Trek. Uh, all it means is a set of numbers describing the position of something. Think of it a bit like a mailing address, only for anything. Planets, stars, mountains, cities, bananas, whatever. So think of your classroom again. Where you are sitting right now can be described in coordinates. You have one number to indicate where you are along the length of the classroom, one number to indicate where you are along the width, one number to indicate where you are along the height. Hopefully, that for all of you, this corresponds to floor. Now, you can sit where you are sitting right now, or the person next to you can sit where you are sitting right now, but you both can't sit there at the same time. Whoever just got up to test this is not going to work. Sit down and listen. So this means we need a fourth coordinate to indicate when you are sitting there. So a position along the time dimension. So with these four numbers, we can describe the position of anything in the universe, any when in the universe. It also means that two objects cannot have the same set of four coordinates. Everything has to have a unique set of four numbers. So that's all time is. It's just one of the dimensions that make up the universe in which you live. It's not a predator that stalks us all our lives, but a companion that goes with us on the journey. No, wait, that's that movie again. Just Google it. I'm sorry I don't have any pop culture references to shows you might actually watch, but I've realized recently that I am really freaking old. And I can't go back to when I was younger because time is a one-way arrow. Time is also really depressing. You'll find this out when you get older. But you know what's not depressing? Science! So, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully it was informative. Uh, if you want, you can check out the rest of my videos on YouTube. Science is not scary. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.